Hello and welcome to this guide of single board computing. As you can see we've got a few different uh, pieces of kit to look at. Uh, what's what and what can you use it for? Let's have a look. Well, probably one of the most popular boards is the Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi is a full desktop computer. You can install a Linux operating system on it. You can plug it into a monitor via the HDMI connector. It powers via the same uh, mobile phone style uh, USB connector there as well. You can install the operating system on an SD card and it will also take a network connection and you four USBs as I said already Wi-Fi on board as well. So as well as being a full desktop computer you can plug um, bits and pieces into these I.O. pins, these in-out pins here as well and use it for different uh, projects and experiments with sensors and motors and the like. You can put your Pi in a Pi case and uh, that will give you um, protection for it if you're using it as a desktop there as well. Nice piece of kit. Okay, a uh, less expensive uh, way to get into a small board computing is the BBC Microbit. Microbit's a really neat piece of kit. Uh, it comes with buttons and lead array on board for doing some starter projects. It also, um, you have a reset button there. You can power it off a battery kit, which we'll look at in a second. And uh, it's very good, easy to program because it installs as a mass storage device like a USB stick. So you can use it in Chromebooks uh, and um, tablets, no problem at all. You don't need drivers like you do with some of the other pieces of kit. Uh, now, you can connect uh, using crocodile clips, which you look at in a minute, devices to this. But as you can see here, the pins are quite small. Some of the slots are quite small. So uh, it helps sometimes to get an edge connector. So this one I got with the Kitronics kit. And if you slot the BBC Micro into the edge connector, it allows you to run more uh, cables and pins and put your project together uh, on this edge connector board here for prototyping. And this is a microbit power supply, so uh, you can get this as an optional extra with your microbit. You can plug it in and power it independent of the computer. When you plug it into the USB, it will actually power off the computer as well. Now the Arduino family is huge and probably one of the most common ones you'll come across is the Arduino Uno. So this is a microcomputer, you've got a USB connection, you've got ins and outs, you usually have to install drivers to get this working and um, it doesn't function as a standalone desktop computer, it's not powerful enough to function like that but it's good in projects. There are a lot of uh, clones or similar boards that use the same layout for the headers. This is the Genuino Intel 101, so this is a clone of the Uno um, using an Arduino chip. Genuino is actually just, it, it's the same company as Arduino, there's a brand, a trademark issue, which you can research if you want, but they're the same thing, Genuino and Arduino. And this is a collaboration with Intel. Um, this is a nice board as well, has all the features of the Uno Plus, it has Bluetooth on board and an accelerometer and things like that. Now depending on what project you're doing, you can look at buying shields for your Arduino. So the shields are ready to drop on the Arduino boards, they're lined up like that. And um, they can help you do projects like making, this one is a Grove shield, makes things easier to connect. Grove do a whole range of sensors rather than having to work out where the cables go. And then there are specific purpose shields like this one for audio which comes with an SD card and um, a speaker output and a volume switch, etc. Some of them you have to make up yourself, some of them come pre-assembled. Now Adafruit do a whole range of boards that are Arduino based but in different form factors for different applications. So the wearable ones like the Flora, Gemma and Trinket are designed for you can stitch them onto clothes, you can use conductive thread and like the other Arduinos, you can use libraries and you can use all different kinds of sensors and ins and outs and run LEDs and all that. And there's a load of Arduinos then on the smaller side, depending on application. These are Pro Mini, Pro Micro and a Nano. And um, sometimes they come with the pins already on, sometimes you have to solder them yourself. And these ones come from Adafruit, except the Nano, which we um, got off eBay. Um, all the Arduino designs are open source as well. so. You can get very cheap versions of them or you can go for the, the kind of official uh, versions like that but um, because the designs are open source anyone can manufacture them. This is an Intel Galileo board so it's a bit like the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it can run a full OS. Uh, it's also fully Arduino compatible uh, with the Uno so the headers are the same. They actually don't make these anymore no, nor do they make the uh, Genuinos, uh, the 101s because Intel have pulled out of the, um, the market for these microchips that are on there, the Curies. So they're still around and still very useful boards but um, they're, they're just um, they're hard to get your hands on if you haven't got them already. Now uh, your companions for these micro uh, single board computers are going to be accessories like a breadboard. So the breadboard allows you to connect 
sensors in and out via these cables here. So these are jumper wires. This one is a male to male, so it's a pin on both ends. So you can use that to go from the breadboard into the um, your microcontroller here. Uh, you can also get female to male jumper wires, so you can use those with the something like the, the Raspberry Pi right here. Okay, like that. And then you have crocodile clips as well, which you're going to use with something like the BBC Micro. You can just plug it on there. You can actually plug those into speakers and the like. Um, so that's our guide to getting started with single board computing. Uh, there's a whole range of different options, and I hope you're not too confused. A uh, good starting point would be the BBC Micro bit. In terms of community and sensors and, and extras, you know, the Arduino uh, has lots of tutorials and lots of, um, you know, just absolutely tons of options in terms of, of that side of it. And then the Raspberry Pi is a nice kind of end to end device that can actually function as a single board computer in terms of a project, or you can use it to do coding as a full desktop as well. So uh, hit us up on letzed.com for more information.